live from Oakland, California, in the Bay Area. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. And today's starter, Dalton Jeffries. What do you got on him, Chris? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire could be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches? Or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Andres Jimenez, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Smash to the left side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. He's in there. Leadoff man aboard on the air, and that puts your pitcher in a little bit of a tough spot right away to start the inning, not where you want to be. So we'll see if he's able to work around it and pick the defense up. And up next for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now it's Jose Ramirez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Double steal. Swing and a miss. Throw to third, and he's out. At the belt and fires. Just oh, missed. misses three balls and a strike runner at second here one gone and that's ball four pretty easy walk right there last pitch wasn't even much to think about that in four the designated hitter John first and second one out next is the DH a switch hitter Josh Bell Little chopper rolls foul. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Get the strike out, man. Here comes a pitch. This one in the dirt. But no advance from the runners. pitch not even close there ball two one out runners at first and second
The other way, and that's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score on the board first. It's one zip. Play it third in there. And it's second and third, one away. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. So one out with two aboard. Here's Josh Naylor. And Cleveland on top one zip. In there, and it's 0-1. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Going to now. To third, Peterson gloves it, rolls across He's the out. diamond. Now two away as they get a run across. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Slapped foul. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Peterson handles the chance, gets it to first, and that'll do it. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Guardians, two, and the Athletics coming to bat. Back in Oakland, and pitching in this game, Shane Bieber. Well, this guy's coming off a season where he fell short of 200 strikeouts, which is kind of the ultimate for pitchers to get to that level. And it just tells you how nasty his stuff is, but it also leaves a little bit on the table for him to come out this season and make sure that he gets over that number so that he can go into the offseason feeling like I'm in a pretty special group. And the 1-0. They say it went. Shane Bieber, former fourth-round pick out of UC Santa Barbara. He's won a Cy Young Award, the pitching triple crown, and became the first pitcher in Cleveland history to win a gold glove. Not bad. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by that last one, being the first one to win a gold glove with the great pitchers that they've had over time in Cleveland. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one gone. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. One down, base is empty. Out towards right center field. Gonzalez trying to get there. Makes the grab for the second out. And time now to check out the A's lineup. Trailing by a couple of runs already, and I'm sure they'd like to erase that deficit quickly. Yeah, you don't want to let this deficit get into your head and you're trying to just make up the difference with one swing and you really don't have the base runners on. You've got to contribute, keep the line moving, and all of a sudden you have a big inning Everything shifts, and you find yourself in the driver's seat. Jesus Aguilar, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Hit in the air, right field. Gonzalez makes the catch, and that'll do it. 
Three up, three down for him there. We move to the second here in Oakland. It's the Guardians two and the A's nothing. Welcome back. Here's the veteran shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Ahmed Rosario. The wind and the pitch. That misses, and that is ball one. Kicks and fires. Liner, base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now it's going to be George Valera. And that's in there for strike one. Check on the runner. And he deals. That clips the corner. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Nobody out. Runner at first. Got him. Now one away. Bo Naylor at the plate now. In there for strike one. Left hand batter waits. That's a pitch misses. And one and one. That's where you want. It's a good miss. And a one one. Runner. Rosario runs. Yeah. That's in for a strike. Throw to second, tag, and they got him. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Here's the 2-2. And now it's filled up. Right side, Kemp handles. On to first. Guardians go down in order. Here in the East Bay, bottom half of inning number two. And here's the first baseman, Seth Brown. The pitch. 
swings through that one. Good eye in that spot. The 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball through there for a strike. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. And the righty deals. That one Two missed. Two strikes. Three, two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Bounce to the left side. Toss to Naylor, and quickly one away in the second. Batting fifth, not shortstop, Aledmiss. Aledmiss Diaz now. First offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. I got one ball, one strike. Whoa. And that one missing low. and drives one out to deep left field. That one's back. Leaping, and it's gone. That one barely got out of here. His first homer of the year, and they've got their first run. It's 2-1. Just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Now here is Connor Capel. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty to the plate. And that's outside. And now one and two. And now it's one and two. Got him swinging. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Brent Rooker in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Next Two one balls. in the dirt. And yeah, that's outside. And here it comes. Inside three and two, the count. The wide to kick the pitch. The right hander gives up the two out walk. 
It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Ramon Laureano stands in now, looks at that one inside. And now two and nothing. Just off the inside edge. pitch there's a strike back-to-back -back fastballs in that last one called for a strike probably go away but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off three one now and ball four to a board well interesting he went with the off speed and walked the hitter man you got to challenge the guy with the fastball and now a chance for Shea Langoliers. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. That one's in there on one. And a pitch. Good eye right there. First and second, two down. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Two on, two outs. And now the count filled up three and two. Righty delivers, and that'll load the bases. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments where everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So the batting order turns over. Digging in for Oakland, Jace Peterson let off the game with a strikeout. And the first pitch misses for ball one. down the line and that one slices back. Left hand hitter waits. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One and two now. Bows it back with two strikes. Base is loaded, two down. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And the right hander deals. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. The 
pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs. Bases are full. Two outs. Got him! Inning over. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. What you waiting for? Come and get it. Top half of the third inning. Here's Andres Jimenez. The second baseman. Andres. Jeffries Jimenez. in his second season. 27 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2016. First offering misses badly for ball one. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, there's a ball. In the air to left center. Rooker under it. Puts it away for the out. Now batter. Left field. So in now for Cleveland. Stephen Kwan. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Kwan, 25 years old. And he won a gold glove last season. Line drive. Makes the catch for the out. Here's Jose Ramirez. The walk and a run scored his first time. So Jose Ramirez had a sensational 2018 season. He became just the eighth player ever to have a season with 30 doubles, 30 homers, 30 steals, and walking more than he struck out. The 2 Up the middle. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Guardians there as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Tony Kemp. Bieber, a 6'3 righty, 200 pounds, and he won a gold glove in 2022. First pitch, just misses. Kemp in his sixth season, batting second in today's lineup, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2013. Lifted in the air, right center field. Valera racing over to make the catch. Now that the designated hitter, Jesus. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Oh, for one, he flat out to right this first trip. Aguilar goes six feet, three inches, 275 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Oh, Next no. one misses, and it's two and one. Hey. Top of the zone for a called strike. Here's a two two. This one chopped up the middle. 
gathers and throws to first. Two up, two down. Now batting, first base hit. So here's Brown at the plate. Wow. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. First pitch, and he just misses. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. One, one now. And a ball evens the count. Stays alive. Two, two. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Two down. This one chopped to first. He takes it on his own. That's the third out. Inning over. So they make short work of him there. Three innings complete. It's the Guardians two and the A's one. On to the fourth. Now it's the Guardians DH. Josh Bell. Josh Bell. Jeffries back to work. Aye. And that one is in for a strike. Go away. Come on. Here comes a pitch. Rolled slowly to first. Brown over to pick it up. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Josh Naylor. First time up, he grounded to third. Swung on, belted. Back there. And that one is going to go. His first homer of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 3-1. Went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And stepping in is the speedy Oscar Gonzalez. 0 for 1 so far. In there, and it's 0 and 1. All ones in the count. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. And a pitch. Gonna count one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is gonna make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. And a one-two. Bounce to the right. Kemp gets it to first. 
Play is made, two out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier okay. enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. And he's already singled in this game. First offering misses the mark. Counts one and oh. Just oh, off the right outside right. part of the plate. The next pitch misses three and zero. Oh. And there's the automatic. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Pickoff throw, Rosario gets back easily. Valera batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0-for-1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Squirts away a little bit. Throw on to Brown. And that'll do it. Guardians tack on another with this home run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Oledmi Diaz. All right, man. Diaz. The right-hander back to work. Ball one there. Aye. And there's the strike. Ball to strike. And that one a little bit high. Two balls, one strike. This one high in the air to left center. Juan settles underneath it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. The right fielder, number 21. Connor Capel will hit next. He's 0 for 1. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball left side. Next pitch just misses. Now two and two. Good eye right there. The wind and the pitch. Bounced out to short. On the run, throw to first. Already two gone here in the home fourth. The left fielder, number 25. 
So two down now, and here is Brent Rooker. He reached out a walk his first time. In there for strike one. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. We played four. Guardians three, and the A's one. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping up for the Guardians, Bo Naylor. Naylor. And the right hater back to work. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Off the mark there. Two balls, no strikes to count. Just off the inside edge. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. Allen catches the corner for a strike. We got full count. And a ground ball to first, into the outfield, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now Got the top of the ball a little base. bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Here's a speed threat, Andres Jimenez. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Make it the ground ball. At the belt and fires. Nope. Just missed. Activity in the bullpen. Number 38 appears to be getting loose. Harris warming up as well. Go back to Cleveland. The 1-1. One -one. Light drive and foul ball. Rudder at first with no outs here. In the air, left field, down the line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Throw, and it gets away. Up next to Cleveland, the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. And the batter now, Stephen Kwan. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Come on, Oakland! Fouled off to the right. Stephen Kwan, pretty active on the bases, and not surprising, his favorite players growing up were two really good base runners, Ichiro Suzuki and Dave Roberts. Left-hand batter waits, and now two and one. The pitch. Runner on the goal. On the ground to first. Brown. Step 
steps on the bag. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Jose Ramirez. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that bat. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. And that's in for a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch misses way outside. And a good eye there. Hard hit in the line. Rooker makes the catch, and that'll do it. Guardians lead one as the lead remains 3-1. Back in Oakland, Loreano comes up the hit. The center field. And a pitch. Misses inside. And that's ball one. Just missed. Inside, ball two. Blind drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Now a catcher up to hit, Shea Langoliers, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Valera moving under it. Puts the squeeze on it. One down. The third baseman, number six. Jay Peterson. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Jace Peterson, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Bieber checks the runner. Oh, Loriano back in standing. Get a piece. And the righty deals. Misses. Oh, and a count one and two. Right. Oh, that <laughs> one rides up and in. Hey, 
Next pitch is outside. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him no tonight. I mean, Number finding five. all the holes in his swing and his approach, no just frustrating for him up there. Yeah. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. In the dirt, blocked, and the runner stays where he is. Righty to the plate. There's the strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Beaver checks the runner. Back in safe, really close. Back over to first, and he's back again. And he deals. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Slings to first, and that is the inning. One left for Oakland, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, number 38. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's Josh Bell. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. The pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Good eye right there. The 2 0 is in for a strike. The pitch. That one drilled left field. Could be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The relay. Safe at second. He legs out the double. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians. He's already homered here in this one. Hard ground ball, base now. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners, nobody out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. That one's in there, 0 1. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And here it comes. Off the plate, Moving in the bullpen, Sam Bowl, the left hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Jimenez, the right hander, also getting loose. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. Runners on the corners, no outs. Out. 
Two-one pitch is in there, and the count is even. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. Next pitch misses. Three and two down. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Runner in from third to extend their lead, and they're up by three. Back-to-back -back singles, everything was on time and blew it in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's the shortstop at the play, Ahmed Rosario. And a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Foul ball still 0-2. No outs, runners at first and second. Here's the 0-2. Just misses the mark outside the zone. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. To second, there's one. On to Brown, it's two. That was a much-needed double play right there. It gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning. The batter now, George Valera. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The pitch. One ball, one strike. That one misses. Two balls and a strike. Two, one. Two outs with a runner at third. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The 2-2 two -two now. And another ball. So now two on and two outs. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. And up next for Cleveland, Bo Naylor, one for two. Well, bottom of the order here, Boog, you got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Now snap throw to first. Valera back easily. Corners are occupied with two down. And one and two.
Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Rooker makes the catch, and that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 4-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the six. Now it's the DH, Jesus Aguilar. Bieber in his fifth season, 27 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. First offering misses the mark. Yeah, there's the strike. I got a ball, one strike. And a pitch. Ripped on a line. Quan makes the grab, and there's one down. Now batter, the first baseman. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Seth Brown. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Now one and one. Here's a one one. Two balls, one strike. Next offering is outside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Right through there, got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. But let me Diaz now, he's already homered in this game. Diaz checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Kenny Jansen. Next offering is in for a strike. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Chop to the right side. Throw to first is in time. And that ends the inning. A's go quickly and quietly there, and they trail it 4 1. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Sam Mole. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Andres Jimenez digs in now for the fourth time tonight. And a pitch. That's inside. Ball one. That one missed. Kicks and fires. That's in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Now it's filled up. Lifted in the air out to left. Rooker has a beat on it. And there's one down. Now batting the left fielder. Steven. Now the number two hitter, Stephen Kwan. The MO for him is 
contact. A guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you can put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. The lefty, the 1-0. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball right side. Whips it to first. And two away to start the seventh. The third baseman, Jose Ramirez. And here is Jose Ramirez. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. Here's your one. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Oh, and two now. That's a ball. Straighten him up a little one bit. Ball, two straight. Ball. The next offering misses. Two, two balls, balls, two, two strikes strike. to count with two outs. Popped up. Brown makes the catch, and that'll do it. Guardians go down one, two, three, but they lead it four to one. Welcome back, bottom of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Connor Capel. The wind of the pitch. Strike one. All one's the count. Now the 0-1. Right side, hard hit. Steps on first for the out. Now batting, left fielder, Brent Rooker. Now the left fielder, Brent Rooker, outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Take it high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Rooker started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and yes, he offered at it. The wind and the pitch. Yeah. And there's the strike. And the 2 Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. That one, one way outside. And the count is 1-2. and two. That misses That's off the outside right. edge. Line of the pitch. In the air, out towards right center. He's got it. There's two away. Now batting center fielder. Here's Ramon Laureano. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 
Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Emmanuel Classe, the closer of the staff, is throwing. Karen check getting loose as well. Yo one. That's a strike. The why to kick the pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. Two outs. Ground ball up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. He doesn't have a throw, and he reaches safely. Yeah, now Terry Francona makes his way out of the dugout towards the mound, and he'll make a change. That's it for Shane Bieber. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Sam Hentges will take over now here. He's making his second appearance of the season. Sam Hentges. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. In there for strike one. To first, and he breaks for second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Danny Jimenez. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. And a pitch. Going one. Oh, well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Righty delivers. That one, one not close, <laughs> and it's one and two. And now two and two. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Josh Naylor, the next to hit. And a foul ball. In the air, left side. Rooker sizes this one up. Racing makes the catch. Two down. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. So in now for Cleveland, Oscar Gonzalez. One for three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Meanwhile, Activity in the bullpen. Kirby Snead, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. And a pitch. That one hit to right. Capel drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is that. Guardians fail to score as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Back here at the ballpark, out of the yeah, bottom of the eighth. And now here's the A's catcher, Shea Langoliers. The 
pitch. Slider clips the zone. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You've got to find a way to shake it off, go up there, and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Next offering is in for a strike. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And makes the grab. One up, one down. The third baseman, number six. Jace Peterson. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Jace Peterson up next for the A's. First nope. pitch, and he just misses. Nope. Just missed. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Ball three. Ball strike right there. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. You've got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. 3-2. Got him looking. Two away down. Here's Tony Kemp. And the first oh, pitch misses place. for ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Ball, it might be right. time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right, right now. Right. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. No, Boog, I'll tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about. Aguilar in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. At the belt and fires. And ball one. one. And he deals. Tied him up inside with that one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Let's get something started here. One, two now. Down the left field line, base hit. Lead runner around second. Rosario with a relay throw, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. The A's strand one. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Kirby Snead. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Mm. So digging in, Ahmed Rosario. And a pitch. There's a strike. Sneed, a 6-1 lefty, 28 years old. And he was a 10th round pick back in 2016. Here it comes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Valera batting with one down, takes a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Trevor May preparing to come on if needed. The 0-1. On the inside corner for a strike. That misses. And the count one and two. The pitch. That's down and in. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Naylor stands in now and watches strike one. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. And now the one. They say it went. And now the lefty. Gonna count one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Swings and misses, struck him out. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen. Power slider guy, bro. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. So here's the cleanup hitter, Seth Brown. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And the right-hander deals. And it's even up. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. Offering misses. The count now two and two. Left hand batter waits. Three. Sets him down looking. 
Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Simply sad, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. And it's a Lentmus Diaz. Center field. Valera racing over to make the catch. Now, Connor Capel. Chris Emanuel Classe has turned into one of the best closers in baseball, and he's got a nasty cutter. Originally signed by the Padres in 2017, but San Diego traded him to Texas. Eventually, throw to first, ball game. And the Guardians take the first two games of this series on the road. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup, you never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 4-1 the final here today. Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.